This is the ECG of a patient who came to hospital with a collapse. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The heart rate is 48 beats per minute and the rhythm is clearly irregular. The axis is normal with an upright complex in lead 1 and an upright complex in lead 2. P waves are present and in the inferior leads they have a slightly peaked morphology consistent with P pulmonale. The PR intervals are what diagnose the rhythm Venkiback phenomenon. There is progressive prolongation of the PR interval until there is a non-conducted P wave, marked here. The PR intervals increase in duration from 320 milliseconds through 360 milliseconds to 400 milliseconds before there is a non-conducted P wave. The process then repeats again with every fourth P wave non-conducted. The QRS complexes show no pathological Q waves and are less than three small squares in duration. The ST segments are flat. The T waves are upright throughout, but are somewhat peaked in the anterior leads. In summary, this ECG of a patient with a collapse shows the Venkiback phenomenon and possible evidence of P pulmonale with tented T waves anteriorly. It's very likely that the patient's collapse was due to a period of higher degree atrioventricular block. The peaked T waves may be relevant and it's certainly worth seeing the patient's potassium, although hypokalemia rather than hyperkalemia is more commonly related to heart block.